So I want to invite you guys into contemplation. I want to invite you into the endless summer. I want to invite you into the golden hour veneer. I went to God just to see, and I was looking at me. I want to invite you into transitory enchanted moments in which you hold your breath compelled into aesthetic contemplations you barely understand, face to face with something commensurate to your capacity for wonder. You see, these transitory enchanted moments, they heal our fractures, they mend our brokenness, they jolt us into awakening, they shake us to the core. They make us open our eyes. They cast away our sins and cleanse us in an act of ecstatic absolution. We are transformed. We are reborn. We are awakened from the lethargy of custom in the film of familiarity and redirected towards the wonders of existence. Tom Duty said it best. We recontextualize the self as a marvelous conduit in a timeless whole from which molecules and meanings flow from neurons to nebula and back again. And in these moments we grasp for language, we grasp for the words to mouth the ineffable, to map the terrain, the territory beyond the maps, that which shall not be named. Faulkner speaks of the writer's futile yet noble efforts to fit the world in a sentence but we try in spite of its futility we try we do not go quietly into that good night we rage against the dying of the light whereas once we were blind now we can see and william blake perhaps he said it best to see the world in a grain of sand to see heaven in a wild flower to hold infinity in the palms of our hand to hold eternity in an hour come with me we shall see it's a world of pure imagination <sighs> the curtain parts and what had never been seen is devoured by the eyes It's distinct, abrupt, framed. It is already a memory. It's a parting of the seas moment. You are jolted into aliveness. It's characterized by heightened qualitative intensity. The mystery beckons, the curtain parts, and what had never been seen is devoured by the eyes. The search is what anyone would undertake and Walker Percy if we were not sunk in the everydayness of our lives to become aware of the possibility of the search is to be on to something and not to be on to something is to be in despair and as david foster wallace wrote the alternative is unconsciousness the default setting the rat race the constant gnawing sense of having had and lost some infinite thing i do not want to lose this infinite thing i will not go quietly into that good night i will rage against the dying of the light and maybe it's an act of utility and maybe it is beyond our capacity and all the clocks in the city began to whir and chime but let not time deceive you You cannot conquer time in headaches and in worries vaguely life leaks away and time will have its fancy tomorrow or today said WH or Auden but he is wrong we don't read and write poetry because it's cute we read and write poetry because we are members of the human race and the human race is filled with passion science 
engineering, business, technology, these are noble pursuits necessary to sustain life. But poetry, truth, freedom, romance, these are the things we stay alive for. These are the things we stay alive for. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just feel it. Just feel it. No, oh. oh. dude, I won that video. Dude, I won that video. I won that video uh, for myself. Film, man, film, man. I won Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, oh, thanks, bro.